Hey, what's up guys? It's Kevin here with Fandroid.com and I'm taking a look at the new LG G2. Uh, you can see this thing has got a nearly bezel-less display, which is a big thing. This is a 5.2 inch IPS 1080p HD display, um, but we're working with minimal bezel. They've done some nice things with that, but before we get into the nitty gritty, let's take a look around some of the other things that we got going on here. So what you notice immediately is that the sides and the top of this phone are clean. There are no buttons anywhere to be found. That's because LG has moved them right back here under the camera. We have our volume rocker and our power one-off standby button right below a 13 megapixel camera that's got image stabilization, uh, a sapphire crystal lens that will keep it from scratching and getting smudged off. LED flash, obviously. So back around to that display, it is a 5.2 inch uh, LCD IPS display, HD 1080p, but you can see they've done some innovations with how the touch sensor in this thing works so that they're able to minimize the bezel to down to less than, uh, I think about like a tenth of an inch to squeeze as much uh, display into this uh, 5.2 inch form factor as possible. It's actually very thin, very light. Um, it's got the Snapdragon 800 processor inside which is super quick. This is going to be a super zippy, one of the faster Android devices on the market right now. And it's also got um, a 3,000 milliamp hour battery squeezed in there using some new uh, kind of battery maximization technology and a step design to fill out that curved shell. So we're looking at a phone that's got Android 4.2.2 and it's got some cool features built in. Um, one of my favorites would be the knock on. You just tap the screen twice and it should start up right away. Um, they've got it going into sort of a demo mode here on the display, but um, you can also do the same to turn off, just knock it off. Um, so this on the back here, obviously is the big thing, is the um, power on off standby relocation. Uh, LG claims they've done their research and that people tend to hold their phone like this. I don't know about you guys, I uh, tend to keep my finger on top of the side. So actually to me, just playing with the test unit, um, it's kind of hard getting used to using that as my way to go through my volume commands and power on off. But they have built in some other cool functionality to it. Um, you can do some quick camera stuff to grab a, a self shot and there's also um, just some other short -time functionality built in, which is pretty cool. Um, otherwise, we've got a pretty standard um, lightly skinned version of Jelly Bean Android um, with a few other cool features in there. It's got things like guest mode where you can give it to someone and they're locked out of some of your more private things. Um, uh, just various other cool little features that this thing slide aside what we're actually demoing here where you can use a three finger swipe um, to slide to a different app. Obviously kind of hard to do one handed but it's kind of a new way to multitask. Um, so you can just slide between your different apps. So they've got some cool features built in, um, some nice optimizations. I think the real uh, key here is it's a super fast phone. It's got a great big battery in there. Uh, we'll see how it works in day-to-day -day use, but it should give us some pretty good uptime. And then obviously the deployment of this interesting take on the power and volume button, which is pretty innovative, um, but we'll see how it plays out. Um, as far as people getting into that on the market. So that's a quick look at the LG G2 here in New York City. I'm Kevin Krauss with Android.com. Thanks for watching.